The auditorium space, much like its counterpart in the real world, allows instructors to address the class as a whole. In the auditorium, this little toolbar can be used for gestures, giving students the ability to interact as they would in the physical world. Gestures include hand raising, waving, clapping, head scratching, nodding, head shaking, indicating understanding, and falling asleep. For traditional lecture-style presentations, Presenter, a tool from the Sludo offering, allows instructors the ability to play presentations that were created offline and stored in Moodle. The media controls on the Second Life viewer are used to initialize the presentation and slide navigation is achieved by touching the arrows on the screen. The digital sketchbook is a Second Life tool that can be used for project submissions. Initially empty, students can add images to the book by locating the images in their inventory, choosing Open from the contextual menu, then dragging the images into the book's contents folder. All images are automatically sorted alphanumerically and each image becomes a separate page in the book. To change the size of the book, choose Open from the contextual menu and look for the size and orientation script file in the contents folder. By making a small change, the book and all its contents gets resized. The gallery provides a professional space to display student work. As a learning environment, the space is an area set up for individual cognitive development as well as a place for interaction between students. Demonstration, as described by Donald Schoen, is one of the roles of a design instructor. With the gallery displaying exemplar work, students can view the space as a place of demonstration. Without physical limitations, the gallery can be reconfigured and resized as needed for any given project or class. For instructors, changing the displayed artifact is as easy as selecting the appropriate image from the inventory and dragging it over the canvas. Interactions between students in the gallery can be recorded with the Sludo chat logger. One touch from each participant will record Second Life conversations to a chat instance in Moodle. These logs can then be retrieved by students for later reflection. The office is a space for students and instructors to meet one-on-one. -on -one. In the office, there is a comfortable seating area to facilitate open discussions with students. There is ample space for students to show and discuss their process work. A resource room connected to the main office area provides a place for additional reference material and the development of future teaching tools. Currently, there is a glossary book like the one in the breakout rooms and an image viewer that can be used to show examples for inspiration during student-teacher meetings. On the outside of the office is an in-world prim drop box. The Dropbox allows students to hand in projects with the digital sketchbook and have the submission time and date stamped in Moodle. Students touch the Dropbox and then drag their sketchbook over the box to submit it. To collect the projects, the instructor need only touch the Dropbox and request to take all objects. A new folder with the submitted projects will appear in the instructor's inventory. Each project will automatically have the student's name appended for easy identification. The registration area provides a combined area for enrollment and the distribution of course material. Enrollment is achieved by touching the registration booth. This booth links the avatar to a student's real-life information. The access checker provides a level of security that ensures only registered students gain access to course resources. Upon entering the course area, students can pick up course material from the information dispenser. A touch will give students a folder containing the course description, project briefs, and any other relevant documentation. This folder, like any other object given to you in Second Life, is saved in your inventory. The vending machine next to the dispenser gives students a number of in-world tools. Among these tools is the Sludo toolbar. 
This toolbar allows students to access their personal blog right in Second Life. After a simple connection process, the toolbar prompts for the blog's entry title and content. This information is entered through the Second Life chat. As a note-taking tool, the blog could also allow students to take notes during lecture and have the information stored as private blog entries. The breakout room is an informal environment for students to gather and learn from each other. Without the official presence of an instructor, this low-risk environment fosters the social constructivist culture of criticism inherent in design learning. To make the space more useful and interesting for students to visit and gather, the rooms are equipped with a number of tools. Occupying the back wall is a flat screen TV that can stream videos and images from the internet. On the coffee table, there is a laptop pre-programmed with the URLs for learning Second Life on the internet and resources on the Second Life grid. These resources include wiki pages, forums, script libraries, and public sandboxes. The large book next to the laptop is a tool from the Sludo set that lets students access a glossary that has been loaded and saved in Moodle. Interaction with the glossary is achieved through the Second Life chat function. Signing up for a Second Life account is simple. On the Second Life website, you choose an initial look, enter a preferred name, choose an available last name from the generated list, and your avatar is born. To link your real life to your avatar, the form continues with a few simple questions. An email for contact purposes, your location, date of birth, real first and last names, gender, and a series of security and password questions to protect your identity. After submitting the form, a verification email is sent to the address entered earlier. Confirming the account allows you to download the Second Life viewer. After installation, you'll be ready to live your Second Life.